Recent statistics show more than 11 and a half million companies are owned by women, generating more than a trillion dollars in sales. And now hair care and beauty brand Shea Moisture and parent company Sundial Brands is stepping in to help out in the coronavirus emergency, announcing a $1 million relief fund to help minority business owners. The CEO of Sundial Brands, Kara Sabin, is here to tell us all about it. Kara, thanks for being with us. You look sunshiny and beautiful there in <laughs> yellow. Uh, tell us more about how the relief fund will work and how will the small businesses be selected? Thank you. First of all, it's so it's, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Um, we know that women of color uh, businesses have long suffered from economic disparity and COVID-19 is really intensifying that. So Shea Moisture is pleased to announce a million dollar relief fund, which we believe is the biggest of its kind. Uh, if you look at small business owners, and particularly women of color, they're starting new businesses at 4.5 times the rate uh, as the general public, yet in their first year of operating, only 1% of their funding comes from bank loans versus 7% of, of white owners. So Shea Moisture is trying to fill that need and um, be a catalyst to not only enable these businesses to survive in this very acute period, but to thrive in the long term. I love that. And, you know, we all know that these are difficult times. We know that small businesses are struggling. But in difficult times, sometimes opportunities can arise. Would you recommend someone starting a small business right now? It's an interesting question. You know, they say necessity is the mother of invention. And in times of crisis, we actually see shifts in consumer behavior. And those shifts in consumer behavior often lend themselves to new business opportunities. Um, so through our work with the entrepreneurial community at Shea Moisture, we've seen this firsthand. We've seen the ingenuity of small businesses. So if there is an owner out there that has an idea, that has a passion, um, it can really fill a need in a white space, this, this could be a very good time. Kara, can you explain to us how you're going to select which businesses will receive some of the money that you're rewarding? Sure. So we are particularly interested in businesses that are doing their part to be of service to the community and really pay it forward. Um, for example, we're looking at businesses that are looking to convene communities online or provide a product or service um, in this new virtual society that we're living in right now, or even shifting from a physical business to an e-commerce platform. Uh, those are the businesses that we're looking, uh, looking forward and uh, also looking to award businesses that, again, as I said, are really paying it forward and helping their community. That's great. And considering, by the way, that Shea Moisture was once a small business, what are some words of encouragement you can give to small businesses out there who may be struggling? As a, you know, starting as a small business founded by the Dennis family, uh, this really does hit home for us. And we know that small businesses often face challenges and barriers, um, and that can also be generational. So for example, in my own family, my grandfather was a barber and a community activist, and he survived, uh, survived redlining and Jim Crow, and was able to have a business thrive over 70 years. And so at Shea Moisture, we're looking to be that catalyst to find these businesses that can really you know, stand the test of time and survive uh, generationally. Well, you certainly are doing your part to help. Kara Sabin, thank you for your time and for your generosity. We wish you the best. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.